Hello YouTube, welcome to another video with me, Aust. Um, today we're going to go through how you update the BIOS. What you need for this is a USB drive with your BIOS file already on it and uh, it needs to be plugged in. Then you turn on the computer and in this case you hit the delete key. Uh, with most it's either F2 or delete and you just wait until the BIOS is loaded up. And that can... Uh, Take a while. Now on this BIOS, I already have it so that it goes into the advanced mode um, immediately. But if you have on the easy mode, you need to hit the F7 to get into the advanced mode. And what we do first, if you want to do it properly, uh, I was going to say don't do it through Windows. Uh, because those utilities are not safe. You may brick your board. That is stupid. But the first thing you always need to do when you update your BIOS is to load optimize defaults because then you are sure that you clear any values that was previously entered. And if you obviously if you have some special settings that you have put in, you can take pictures of it so you can input it later. Uh, but so you load optimize defaults and then uh, you save changes and reset and then it's going to give you a list of all the changes that it has changed and what you will notice here is that the next time that we go into the BIOS now it is going to be in the basic mode which I previously mentioned because that is the default but I will show you how to get into the, the, the advanced mode and you see there's also the splash screen and other silly stuff. So you continue hitting the delete key and here's the basic mode. We don't want that. So we hit the F7 key and we're right back um, in the advanced mode. And then we go into tools, uh, Asus Easy Flash 3 utility. And then we select via storage devices, never via internet. That is not safe. You might break your board and that's sad for everyone involved. And then you have your storage devices here. Um, and in my case, this is my USB drive. So the BIOS file I want is this one. Uh, just read out the it's actually the one. And then it asks you, do you want to read this file? And you select yes. And then it will act as if it's frozen, but what's really going on here in the background is that it's reading the file, checksums and all that, and making sure that it's perfectly fine. And then you can see here that what version it is and what date the BIOS is. Uh, so you go ahead and uh, say yes to, do you really want to update the BIOS? And then you will have a progress bar here and depending on how large the BIOS is, this might take a while, so we'll pause and be right back when this progress bar is done. Uh, and when we are done, the progress bar has went all the way, and then it just gives you a message that, yeah, this is um, basically... Uh, it is letting you know that... The BIOS is going to update, so you will have to wait for it to restart once more. And this is the moment of truth, I suppose. So when the yellow bar has gone all the way across, it's going to let you know that it, the system is going to start, and then it's going to restart, and it's going to say, like you saw, that we are now updated. And as you can see, we are now back in the BIOS after having get, gotten our throats and our hearts as always. So uh, how you verify that you got the new version, um, you can see here, I think, yeah, up there it will tell you that this is the new BIOS version 
So then you know that the BIOS upgrade have been successful. And speaking of successful, if you like 8-bit music, I make that sort of stuff. And I have linked to it in the video description. So definitely check that, <laughs> check that out. And um, like, comment, subscribe. Now that YouTube has messed up their monetization policy. We really appreciate all the subscribers we can get. Your subscription button does make a different thank you and i apologize for this cheesy segue into things but uh <laughs> see you next time bye